In 2019, I ran my first park run in 22 minutes and 13 seconds. Fast forward four years and I now have a PB of 14.57 for the 5K distance, some seven minutes faster than that first ever race. In today's video, I've got four workouts I think are the most effective workouts for you to try to improve your 5K time. Now for each of these workouts, I've got an advanced and a beginner version. So these can apply to anyone who's targeting a 5K from the 40 minute mark all the way down to sub 15 minutes. Now the first workout is a classic, it's kilometer repeats and it's six by a kilometer with two minutes recovery. Now for these kilometer reps, you wanna be focused on hitting your race pace for the 5K. So this is great for practicing the race pace when it comes to the race so that your body is familiar with how it feels to run at certain paces. If you're somebody who doesn't currently know your 5K pace, then this should be around eight, eight and a half out of 10 in terms of the relative effort. As with all these workouts in today's video, I would recommend doing a 10 to 15 minute warm up and cool down to reduce the risk of injury. Just a bit of a disclaimer, I am not a qualified coach. These are just the workouts that I've used over the last four years to improve my 5K time. So all the best when it comes to applying them to your training. If you're somebody who's never done interval training before, then I would consider doing the beginner version of this workout, which is four by a kilometer with three minutes standing recovery. So sort of reduce the amount of reps you're doing and increase the amount of recovery time. It just allows you to bring your heart rate down a little bit and hopefully feel a little bit more in control when running that little bit faster. If you're somebody who's more advanced, somebody who's run say under 17 minutes for 5K and you're looking for a bit more of an intense workout, then try increasing the number of reps from six to eight and reducing that recovery time from two minutes to 90 seconds. Again, keeping those intervals at your 5K race pace so that when it comes to the 5K, you're ready to run at a certain pace. A bit of a top tip for this workout, if you're somebody who doesn't know how far a kilometer is, doesn't have a smartwatch to measure a kilometer, then I would recommend running to the time it would roughly take you to run a kilometer. So for example, if you're a 20 minute 5K runner, you wanna be running four minutes per kilometer. So instead of running a kilometer, run for four minutes at your 5K effort, and you wanna do six reps of that. So six by four minutes, at your 5K race pace. So the second workout I've got for you today is a bit more of a speed focused workout. Now this is 400 meter reps. Now these are really good for getting your body used to running slightly faster than your 5K race pace so that when you run at your 5K race pace, hopefully it feels a little bit more controlled. So this workout is 12 by 400 meters with one minute 30 seconds standing recoveries. Now these 400 meter reps, you wanna do a little bit faster than your 5K race pace, roughly around five to 10 seconds per kilometer faster, or 3K race pace if you know what that is. Um, probably around nine out of 10 in terms of relative effort. Again, if you're somebody who's not tried this interval training before, you might wanna try reducing the number of reps to eight, so eight by 400 meters, and slightly increasing that recovery time to two minutes. On the other end of the spectrum, if you're somebody who's looking to run really, really fast, you might wanna increase the number of reps just to make this workout a little bit more intense. So I'd recommend aiming for 16 by 400 meters, and again, reducing that recovery time to just 60 seconds to make it that little bit harder. Now a top tip for this one is I would recommend starting off a little bit more conservatively, so slightly slower than you think you need to run because there are a lot of reps here. So if you go too fast on the first ones, it can be a very painful workout. So those first two or three reps, just try and find your pace, don't push it too hard, and then towards the end of the workout, you can slowly increase the pace a little bit. Again, around 3K race pace or nine out of 10 effort. So 400 meters, one lap of the track, but again, if you haven't got a track accessible, then you wanna roughly run for about a minute, a minute and a half intervals. So moving on to workout number three. Now this one's slightly more complicated than the previous two, and it's known as a mile cut down workout. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a 1600 meter rep to start with, followed by two by 800, four by 400 and eight by 200. So each section of this workout roughly equates to one mile or 1600 meters, hence why it's called a mile cut down. And for this workout, you're gonna start off at 10K pace and slowly work through the gears all the way down to your 1500 meter pace. So this is a really good one for sort of getting your body used to running at different paces, but also moving from 10K race pace all the way down to 1500 meter race pace to improve your body's efficiency at running fast. So for that first rep, the 1600 meters, you're gonna to wanna to roughly start at your 10K race pace. For the 800 meters, you wanna roughly aim for your 5K race pace. 
For the 400s, again, 3K race pace. And for those 200 meter reps to finish, you're gonna wanna aim for around your 1500 meter race pace. So you go through the gears, you start off steady, but for longer reps, and as the reps get shorter, you get faster and faster. In terms of rest for this one, it's also a little bit complicated. As the reps get smaller in distance, the amount of recovery time also gets smaller. So after the 1600 meters, you have 90 seconds standing recovery. After the 800 meters, you have 60 seconds. After the 400 meters, you have 45 seconds. And finally, those 200 meter reps at the end, you have just 30 seconds of recovery. So as the reps get shorter, so does the recovery time. So yeah, this one really burns towards the end, but it's quite nice as the reps get shorter in duration. If you're somebody who's a bit of a beginner to interval training, you may wanna reduce the amount of volume in this one by doing a 1600 meter rep to start, followed by two by 400 and four by 200. If you're somebody who's more advanced and wants to make this workout even harder, then you're gonna go up the ladder again. So after you've done those eight by 200 meters, you're then gonna do four by 400 and then two by 800 and then finally a 1600 meter rep to finish. So you sort of go down the ladder and then back up it again to finish. Now my top tip for this one is to try and find a track because it makes this workout a hell of a lot easier. 1600 meters is four laps. 800 meters is two laps and 400 meters is one lap, 200 meters is half a lap. So yeah, try and get down to your local track, give this one a go, it's really good for going through the gears. So the fourth and final workout I have for you today to improve your 5K race time is hill sprints. Now this workout is 10 by 30 seconds with jog down recoveries. So for this workout, you're gonna to need to find a hill with a sensible gradient and also take along with you something to uh, act as a marker, something like a hat, another layer or even a cone if you've got one. So you start at the bottom of the hill and then you're gonna run up the hill for 30 seconds at a reasonable effort, probably around eight, nine out of 10, um, up to the 30 second point and then you're gonna drop that cone and that is gonna become the marker for your workout. And then you're gonna walk back down to the bottom of the hill before starting this workout and it's 10 by 30 seconds. So you've gotta go 10 to that cone and then jog back down. If you're somebody who's more of a beginner to interval training, you're gonna to wanna to reduce the amount of intervals you do to eight, and you're gonna, instead of jogging back down the hill, you're gonna walk down the hill to really allow your heart rate to come back down and make sure you're fully recovered by the time you get to the bottom. If you're somebody who's more advanced, you wanna slightly make this workout a little bit harder, then try floating down the hill. Now a float is sort of a steady run. You don't allow your body to recover fully, so by the time you get to the bottom and sprint back up the hill, um, your body isn't fully recovered and it just makes this workout a little bit more intense. And again, you can always increase the reps from 10 to 14, 30 second hill sprints. If you're still watching at this point, then I have a discount code for you for these lovely hats from Team Varga. Ben is running 15, we'll get you 15% off if you're interested. So there we go, that's four workouts to hopefully improve your 5K time. If you found this video interesting and useful, please consider sharing with a friend and leaving a like on this video. But until next time, good luck with your next 5K race. Aspire to run, run to inspire, and see you again soon.